This journal reflects events that have changed my life. <laughs> Now and again, they've been pretty damn amazing. I've given this a great deal of thought, and I feel I should warn you about the adventure, the romance, and the wild, unbridled sex in my journal. Uh, there isn't any. I met Dr. Jones last January 18th at O'Malley's Bar in Scranton, Pennsylvania. He created a startling theory that involved Cold War experimentation or some sciencey stuff like that. That had created an environmental disaster in Scranton, causing its men to fail to develop fully, while its women developed super abilities. It was all over my head, but I I didn't want to feel stupid or intimidated right away. I, I'd save that for later. I had told Jones that I was an investigative reporter for the Times. <laughs> I didn't tell him which Times, but it wasn't the one with the New York in front of it. The Times I wrote for was the preferred reading at the bottom of um, was bird cages, <laughs> uh, if you know what I mean. That's when I saw her for the first time: blonde hair, body with all the right parts, eyes that glowed. <laughs> I'm not kidding you; they glowed. They flashed me with blinding beams of blue and then green. I'd never seen anything like it. And in an instant, she was gone. I had to find her, and I began the search right then and there. And my whole life has never been the same. <sighs> Read this journal, and neither will yours.